you know the point is going back to our to my recent statement about coexistence which is inevitable uh, you, you still have to come to the same pretty much the same conclusion if they don't negotiate today or next month or next year they'll have to sit down and negotiate a year or two later that is occupation as we know it is not sustainable enmity uh, violent enmity violent conflict between Israel and Hamas is not sustainable. So you have to start someplace. There are now rumors or facts that, for example, Israel and Hamas are sitting, negotiating, potentially long-term truce. I think it's a very good sign. If that is were to happen, I think that would be wonderful. It will begin a new phase in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. You need to reduce the tension. You need to remove the excuses. Netanyahu should not keep saying, we cannot negotiate with our number one enemy who wants to kill us. So if there is a truce between Hamas and Israel, well, perhaps that opens the door for a renewed negotiation with the Palestinian Authority in the West Bank. Uh, so, so certain things, certain steps, when taken, whether inadvertent or deliberate, that could facilitate the process ought to be taken. And hence, we have to think in those terms nowadays, both Israelis who want peace desperately, the Palestinians who, want, who really want peace, the, the, the international community, the, the, the EU, the United States, ought to, ought to be much more creative because everyone will be affected by the, by the continuation of the conflict. And um, not to speak of the occupation of the West Bank by Israel, which has lasted more than any other occupation, um, in my view, at least since World War II, if not beyond that. You know, I've been always accused of being optimistic uh, about the Israeli-Palestinian um, peace process and how to end the conflict between the two sides. Now, uh, I've been singing the same song and the same dance for more than three decades now. And I don't think anything has changed. The moment when both sides recognize the simple basic fact that they are stuck, they must begin to find ways to coexist peacefully. They coexist now and they will continue to coexist, but they're not going to have to find a formula. So what we are talking about here, since the, since the both Israelis and the Palestinians were unable, after so many years and decades, to reach an agreement, at least since the Oslo Accord of 1993. If they were unable still to reach an agreement even 20 years later, you have to ask yourself the simple question, what is it going to take? And in my view, international intervention at this point is a critical. That is, Israelis and the Palestinians must understand that the, their conflict is not limited to the Israelis and the Palestinians. It has major, significant, regional, and perhaps even global implications. And given the situation in the Middle East today, in particular, require more vigilance, more concern, more focus, more attention, to this particular conflict. The United States, the European community, the Arab state ought to really look at the situation anew and come up with something if they don't want to see this exploding again in a manner that is going to make it extraordinary, if not impossible, to reverse. And we need to avoid that.